And for someone who is um, new to this world and um, let's say they are struggling with finances or relationships, uh, how do they begin with, where do they begin up with trying to connect with their higher self when they, they are not able to see beyond yes. what's going on? Well, of course, the only way to see beyond their struggle with money or their struggle with relationship is to come above the fray. And the way we literally come above the fray is that uh, we connect with our own inner voice. So, and, and we look at the world in a different way. If we're always looking at the world in terms of how can I win, success at every level, uh, which is a very limited concept of purpose, you know, but rather we look at, okay, I, I have this relationship, and, it's, and this person triggers something in me. Uh, it tells a story about me. So, for example, this is one of the reasons that I've been doing incarnational work for 61 years, because we can find the answer. For example, what if you, uh, and we do this, we call it clearing a person, what if you looked at other lifetimes you shared with that person? You would discover why you feel the same way that you do now with them, why you have the same themes with them. They overwhelm you or you overwhelm them or whatever that is. That's the way that you change it. If you have trouble with abundance, you, you, if you continue to say, well, how can I get more money? You probably never will. Because you are looking at it as an impossibility. You have to look at it as, I have the creativity to discover new ways. So I will ask my higher self, mm -hmm. my own inner voice, to begin to orchestrate for me a magnetism that brings me energies that I can then begin to apply. Uh, so one of the exercises in consciousness uh, that I always uh, say to people is, first you must access a place in you, an experience, a memory in you, where you felt absolutely abundant. It might have been uh, the luxury of looking at a flower, or being in water, or, or being in nature, or, or whatever. And at that moment, you weren't missing anything. You weren't feeling the victim. You can, this is the wonderful thing about the laws of energy. You can take that moment, dissolve the, the experience of it in terms of, uh, so if you can give yourself a moment in which you are free of the limitation, when you feel abundant, when you feel, I can have anything, I have everything, and, and you feel that happiness that comes with that, you can, you can superimpose what you felt there onto, I'm struggling with my money now. And suddenly, magically, uh, your life begins to change. So it's using consciousness in a way that allows us to shift our perception. So instead of feeling that I only have a job and I only make this amount of money, no, that's not true at all. Superimpose a sense of I have everything. And I am so grateful for that. And I can feel what that energy feels like. That's when suddenly money comes to you, you know, or you, you get an idea, or, or things begin to change. We are the source of our rich, our wealth, on all levels of our being. And I think that part of the struggles we're having now on the planet is just a way of helping us to get out of systems that don't support all of humanity that don't allow us to see how we can share. I just wanted to share my one observation. Uh, oh, I, I wanted to get your perspective on it. There are uh, some people I've seen that they are not necessarily aligned with the energies, but they are still able to create um, abundance in their life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's a question everyone asks. Why do they get it? <laughs> They're not conscious. They're, they are. They steal from others. They they don't even try, and it just is handed to them. And so I would look at that in a in a, in a larger framework. You know, uh, it may be that at some point, and it could be the moment of their death, they have a flash, and they see that they can do it differently. Maybe they don't, but I would call that the law of karma. And that is cause and effect 
action and reaction. It can be positive, it can be negative. So those kind of people that have it that way, it may be coming because they need to learn something from that. So if they suffered as victims before, and they gave themselves the experience of having everything, and I've worked with many people who have uh, tremendous wealth, for example, and very often they're so afraid of losing it that they don't enjoy their lives. They don't give to others. They don't use life because they, they are still playing out an experience they had before. So when we release that experience, uh, they have an awakening. So it's very important for us to know that's their story. And whatever brought them to that uh, was something that was, might have been har horrible for them. Uh, or they're rewarding themselves. You know, there is that flow that comes. And so my higher self has taught me uh, to not bother with the negative. It's discern that it's there. How can you use it? But don't make that an important thing. So I never place my energy on what they're doing. I always place my energy on what I'm doing. You know, I could be happy with, I can get very ecstatic actually because I love flowers, uh, for example. Uh, I love nature, and I can I can get very ecstatic uh, as a simple a simple being, you know, and that serves my life, you know. So it's always our perception of uh, do are we safe again? Are we safe? Do we have enough? Uh, is who we are enough? You know, uh, can we be happy? Once we're happy, that opens us up to allow us to imagine. And so I always say to people, imagine that you already have that wealth or you already have that perfect relationship. What does it feel like to you? If you can access the feeling, then you will begin to trigger a permission that allows...